follow breaking news out of Racine, where the Department of Justice is now investigating. Within the hour, DOJ confirms Racine police were involved in a deadly shootout. No officers were injured, but let's get to Brett Vickery live at that scene with the information and a complicated lead-up of events. Yeah, there's a lot of different elements leading up to where we are here, Carl. We're across from Clayton Park here in Racine, where we can still this, see this investigation underway. And the DOJ, the Department of Justice, is the lead investigator on this. And they are typically brought in in a situation like this, where it's a critical incident involved with an officer shooting a subject. And so they are the external uh, administration here that is going to be doing this investigation. So to break down kind of the sequence of events here, late last night, Mount Pleasant Police they responded to a shots fired call. A couple hours later, Racine Police Department, they initiated a traffic stop here in Racine. That driver got out and started running away. That person ended up hiding in the tall grass here off of Clayton Avenue in the park here around 1230 this morning. That's when officers told the person to come out, put their hands up. They refused and started shooting at officers. So those officers ended up firing back, killing that person. Again, no law enforcement hurt Racine and Mount Pleasant police officers that were involved. They are now placed on administrative duty. We have seen some recent video from a neighbor who ended up taking video of the incident. We're going to bring that to you in just the next half hour. Lots of shots fired, lots of yelling from police commanding this person to come out. And we now know that that person is now dead here on scene following officers. Uh, responding with fire, firing back and killing that person. Again, investigation still underway. We expect to be here for quite some time as the DOJ uh, thoroughly continues to investigate this critical police involved incident here in Racine. Reporting live in Racine, Brett Vickery, Fox 6 